Recording in progress. So we're going to talk with Mr. David Herrera. Uh, can you introduce yourself, where the hell you're from and what are you doing? And then we're going to dig <laughs> deeper into why are we talking today? Yeah, so as far as who I am, so uh, my name is David Herrera. I just kind of, I, I'm known for just competing in powerlifting uh, and I've been able to place pretty highly in, in powerlifting over the last uh, five years. I was able to total uh, all time. I, I topped a top 40 in the world um, at a body weight of under 200 pounds and totaled 1978. Uh, and that, that's all in pounds. Um, and so that's kind of where like my athletic background goes as far as like uh, sports and PEDs. I ended up doing a a five hour or five part, it's probably longer than five hours with Broderick um, podcast on, on his website about a whole year of powerlifting training that led to that total. And so that's gotten pretty popular. And then from there, you know, I've been learning ever since I got into powerlifting, I've been learning from Broderick. I've been learning from Alex and Andy, uh, Triana and stuff like that. And, <clears throat> you know, they brought to all of them together have brought to my attention, like, PED, the PD world and performance world is way, way, way more than just steroids. So that, and that's probably bringing us to the conversation that we're going to be talking about today. So just some, you know, basics as far as like, how do you really, you know, per, from a performance standpoint, how do you really capitalize on everything that you're doing, your food, your, your training. And a lot of it comes down to just energetics like mental performance tops everything for the most part and if you're under fueling yourself um you know because you have to make a weight class that's just the hamper performance and things like that so if there's ways to circumvent maybe not getting the energy from your food but possibly getting it from your body fat or possibly bringing in raw substrates that add to like the energetic field um so something that we'll be talking about today is L-carnitine. L-carnitine modifies um, kind of like your flexibility to use your own body fat for fuel, like on the go. So now you're not dependent so much on what did you eat an hour ago or three hours ago. Um, then we're also probably, we're going to be talking a, a little bit about choline, you know, and that's a raw substrate that your body can use to, um, you know, for, for, from the nervous system standpoint of like electrons transferring in your mind and you know your your thinking processes and how that is integrated into your body like people think of just the brain being in here really your brain is your whole body you know so your brain is connected to everything via neurons and and nervous the nervous system so choline is a major contributor to like the immediate available substrates to be able to use at the neurological level. So acetyl L, uh, acetylcholine is the big one that you're going to be able to recycle when you have plenty of choline in your diet. Um, but, you know, when you're enhanced, now you can burn through all of those substrates much, much more quickly because you're a much bigger person. So then you start running into bottlenecks of, I can't get enough food. Uh, I can't, you know, that sort of stuff, not just from like a gaining weight perspective, but just from fueling the recovery of your training or being prepared for your training. Sometimes it's just hard to get enough food because of when the time of day you have to train, you know, there's life constraints and stuff like that. And that's where, you know, some of my products really, really come in handy. So all of my products, except for one, have a combination of L-carnitine and um, choline. Um, so the L-carnitine uh, is just that. All it is is just L-carnitine. And the basic thing that it's going to do is just fatty acid utilization. It's just going to improve how you use your own body fat uh, or really any, any, any body fat, but whether it's for, you ingested it or your own body fat that you, anything that's released in the bloodstream and can be used for energy, it's going to modify how easy you can do that. Uh, it's going to Amplify how, do you, how do you come around it and uh, when did you start to play around with it and figure out you know yeah yeah so so as far as l-carnitine goes um yeah definitely uh was uh one of those things where 
I probably, I want to say five years ago, five years ago was probably the first time that I heard about L-carnitine and, and, and knowing that it needed to be injected. Like, so I had heard about L-carnitine probably maybe a year or two before that, but you know, there were just kind of random studies on like helping with fat loss, like making it so that you could uh, still have plenty of energy while you were losing fat, but you had to consume like three to four grams of it orally per day, <laughs> so which ended up being like, you know, six, seven pills every day. Um, but, you know, then I started, you know, that was around the time where Alex Kiko still had his YouTube channel and he had a lot of information on, on L-carnitine and the whole premise of, Hey, when you go injectable, it's a different ball game. It's, it's, it's much more user-friendly. You actually start getting a lot more noticeable effects as far as, um, how you use energy, how you feel. And, and if you're dieting, it kind of accelerates how quickly or how easily your progress continues. Everybody's probably been in that part where it's like, I'm losing body fat pretty consistently, but then there's like this bottle. There's something that happens as some kind of a body fat percentage where it's like, now I have to work way harder to continue to lose the same body fat. And L-carnitine starts to kind of make that sticking point easier. It makes it smoother to transition into, hey, maybe it's a 10%, you know, a 10% body fat. If I need to get leaner than that, I have to do a shit ton more work than I would normally. When you start taking exogenous L-carnitine and you have proper storage of, of L-carnitine intramuscularly, that extra little bit of work starts to continue to make that same amount of progress as if you were, you know, 12% body fat. So you go from 10 to eight at about the same speed as you went from 12 to 10. Um, that's where I started to notice that as far as um, just taking injectable L-carnitine. And I started that little experiment in 2017. Yeah, 2017. For a whole year, I just took an injection of L-carnitine once a day, every day for 300 and whatever days. Uh, Five, and, seven and, years, I kind of went everyone else. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so, and, and, and to tell you the truth, I made really, really good progress um, as far as like body composition, really didn't have to try very hard. Basically ate the same, basically ate the same, basically trained the same. The only difference was the L-carnitine. And I did just end up being leaner at the end of that year. Uh, so what without... was your main reason for giving it a go then? Was it because you were trying to make your weight? Was it because? You... Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I wanted to um, find an easy way to like slowly lean out without having to go through a cutting and bolting phase, just because I was very focused then on being 190 pounds and being as competitive as possible in powerlifting. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't really have a lot of room to get, you know, to gain 10 pounds uh, and then cut that, um, you know, because as you know, with uh, uh, lifting, uh, leverages mean a lot. Like if you, if you gain a lot of weight, yes, you're going to move more weight, but then if you have to lose some of that weight to make weight for a weight class, that your leverages get messed up and you don't quite perform like you would normally. So I wanted to find a way where I could continue to gain muscle, eat a little bit on the surplus, but still lose body fat um, and, and stay relatively the same weight so that my leverages wouldn't change very much. That was the main goal. And I, I have to say it, it worked out pretty damn good. And that was just with L-carnitine. And I, I would say that I probably started to notice the effects three, four months into it. So it took a little bit. And that's that's the thing that most people right off the bat don't understand about L-carnitine and choline. These are not things that make like changes to your body, like a steroid or even growth hormone would, where, you know, in like five weeks, you're like, oh, wow, I can clearly see that, you know, I'm harder or denser, or like if you're using growth hormone, you're like, oh, I can clearly, you know, in five or six weeks, you start to notice some benefits, sleeping a little bit better, that sort of stuff. The L-carnitine and the choline are more like you notice the benefits when you take it. Think of it more like uh, like a, like a if you're taking it before a workout. It's going to act more like a pre-workout where it's like, oh, I just feel good. I just feel really good. I'm going to be able to put in a lot of work. And that's really the benefit that you're going to get. But if you can do that, weeks on end, months on end, that starts to make huge, huge returns. And the, the little bit of changes where, um, you know, you're utilizing more fat, you know, per, per unit of time, you're able to use a little bit more fat than you would normally. That adds up to being leaner at the end of three or four months. 
Um, you know, if you previously weren't very good at utilizing body fat, then, you know, there isn't a body composition change. But if all of a sudden you can take something day after day that changes that, you know, maybe it's 1%. At the end of four months, that adds up to being 2% leaner than you were at the beginning and you didn't really have to change much. You just had to stay adherent. You had to stay consistent. Yeah. Yes. So when you were doing it for for a year, you obviously do your blood work all the time. Was there anything that flagged up at all? Um, no, not really. Uh, as far as um, you know, blood markers that I would have been concerned about, none of them that I can attribute to the L-carnitine. So L-carnitine does have some studies out there that show it may inhibit, uh, you know, some thyroid or things of that nature. But I didn't have any thyroid issues come up as far as. Um, lowering my my T3 or any of that. Um, but I also wasn't taking a thousand milligrams of it like some people are. So, so how much day, compared to your body weight were you taking? Yeah, so I was only taking, so I was walking around at like 195. So let's just say 90 kilos, okay? And uh, I was uh, taking 200 milligrams a day. Okay. So, yeah. So is there so, much of a difference if you take it in the morning or before training and how does those things work? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so depending on kind of how your training is set up and, and what you're trying to accomplish. So from, from my perspective, everything was about prioritizing the actual training window to get the most out of it. And then the rest of the time, I was just basically just going to work and being a normal person. Um, so I would take all of my L-carnitine on training days, uh, about 40 minutes before, before training. Um, because if I was slightly under fueled, it would, it would help that. Or if I was properly fueled, it would augment how good my training would go. And coincidentally, because I can use more body fat during training, it made it so that I wasn't overwhelmed with hunger after training. You know, everybody's been there where you have like a two hour training session. And the next thing you know, you're like, I just can't stop eating. I'm freaking ridiculously hungry now. Um, the L-carnitine kind of blunts that a little bit. Uh, it almost makes it, you know, because you're using your own body fat more easily. So you get done training. It was much easier to just go about my normal day after, after a training session. It wasn't like, oh, I, I'm going to spend another two hours trying to fuel this training session. Um, and so I would take all my L-carnitine before training. And on non-training days, uh, you know, and this was around the time where uh, I knew about Broderick and I had actually interacted with him a little bit. So I was already doing like 20 minutes of cardio every day anyway just you know good for your heart type of stuff so yeah. i would just take my l-carnitine in the morning on non-training days and do my my fasted cardio at 20 minutes and it, it wasn't fasted for a particular reason it just happened that that was convenient Let's it was be honest, it's, it's easier yeah 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 I, I would just wake i literally would just wake up have a cup of coffee, walk downstairs onto my treadmill and walk for 20 minutes and then get, you know, this was back when I still had a full-time job. So, uh, you know, 20 minutes of walking on the treadmill and then I would go back upstairs, pack up my lunch and get my work clothes on and walk out the door. So it just was easier to do it fasted than, you know, having a meal. So when does calling come in play? So we kind of, yeah, yeah. it's pretty, pretty simple, uh, doesn't sound like, well, let's be honest, it's just like an amino acid. That's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just an amino acid. We just happen to, to be able to push it super physiologically, just like you do with testosterone. Testosterone is just testosterone until you use more than your body can produce. And, and then it starts to have some magic. So L -carnit think of L-carnitine that way. It's, uh, think of it like if you are eating a normal diet, you're going to have carnitine at normal levels and it's then your body's going to function normally. The moment you start injecting it, now it can go super physiological. It can stay super physiological. That's another thing. I'll just point this out real quick. Um, it takes about two weeks of just normal 200 milligram dosages um, to become super physiological. And it also takes about two weeks to drop down below. So if you stop taking it for a week, not much is going to happen. You're not going to notice much. If you stop taking it for three three weeks or close to a month, then you'll start. Excuse me, you'll start the accumulation process over again. But but once you've done two weeks of consistent use, um, it doesn't really matter when you take it or how you take it, unless you're wanting acute changes. So like, hey, I want to amplify my workout. Take it before the workout. If it's a non-training day, it really won't matter what time of the day you take it. Um, would you say there yeah. is much benefit for someone who is particularly large and not even caring about getting leaner? Yeah, yeah. So 
uh, say, say that one more time. Like, what, so can, what, what kind of benefit? Can, like, yeah, you're making weight class and this and that. You're depriving yourself mm -hmm, from food mm -hmm. most of the time. That l is going to is going to make a significant change, pretty much, to, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But if you are really pushing your food up, mm -hmm. uh, have you noticed any any benefits from from that side? And when you're yes, really yes. Inside, so so happen? what it will do, you know, if your l carnitine shuttle is upregulated the reason why you're having to eat so much food is you're just a really large person you're you're literally the cost of living just sitting here costs you a lot more right but you happen to also have body fat on you right so you know this is a big one where guys especially once they get really large it's like man i'll wake up in the middle of the night because i'm hungry right and and go have to eat well l-carnitine can start blunting some of that effect because it makes it easier for your own body to be like, oh, we have plenty of body fat going around. So we don't really need to cause a big hunger spike because we can utilize this guy's own body fat for the recovery process at night. That's probably the biggest benefit for bigger guys is yeah. the cost of just moving starts to be paid off a little bit more by your own body fat than it does by food. So, it, it, and I will say L-carnitine, once you get it uh, saturated, uh, there is a benefit. The bigger you are, the more you'll you'll probably benefit from taking a little bit more. And on my website, when you order, you'll get a you'll get a once you place an order and, and receive your order, you'll get an Excel spreadsheet that kind of has some some flighted tiers of hey, if your body weight is 150 kilos, start here. You know, maybe it's two milliliters instead of just one or or something along those lines it'll, it'll it starts to guide you a little bit hey if you're a bigger person you're going to benefit from a slightly bigger dose just because yeah, you have more muscle to saturate so it's not just for someone who wants to try to make weight no uh, definitely not in fact it starts to pay big time dividends on controlling your hunger uh, especially like um uh, andrew hudson me mentioned this you know he's he's a really large individual and he's, he's like <laughs> Yeah, and eats a lot. And sometimes in between his meals, he's like, wow, I just feel anxious. I feel a little bit grumpy. I can tell that I need more food, but I'm doing work, right? So he's like, I can't just put pause. So instead, I'll just go take a, a shot of L-carnitine. 10, 15 minutes go by. And he's like, I start feeling better. I start feeling like I'm energized more. And he, he continues on with his computer work, whatever he has to do. Yeah. And, and then when his next meal comes, he obviously eats that. So it starts to, you can quickly see how it's beneficial for both people that are trying to not eat as much and gain weight. And for people that are just having to eat an enormous amount to even stay alive, <laughs> it starts to have benefits on both. And in the PD, in the PED world, you're going to run into both of those all the time. Yeah, especially when you're that big and you need food 24-7. It's like... Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, any, Anything that you can take that can help uh, mitigate that is always welcome. <laughs> um, and so then, when did you uh, start to dig into, uh, into calling? Yes, so, the, that, so that was my next part. So once I started realizing that, and then I started talking more and more, like just, you know, messages here and here, here and there with Andrew Triana and Alex Kiekel, um, you know, and I, and I messaged them and I would be like, Hey, I'm making my own L-carnitine product. Um, it's working fantastic and all that. I'm like, is there anything that would be like complimentary to this type of thing? Um, I, I didn't really want to make it like a performance, uh, driven thing, but that's kind of where it ended up being just because of the nature of, of my, um, training and Andrew Triana, the very first thing he said, he goes, well, your, your training is very neurological. I mean, you're trying to move the most weight as possible. He goes, something that you'll probably find beneficial is uh, taking uh, some kind of a choline aid um, for your training session. So we, I just started off, and that's kind of where the conversation started. So I started off taking alpha GPC, which everybody's probably familiar with, um, before training sessions. And that helped quite a bit. And then, uh, but there was like, a lag time, you know, because, you know, you don't know how much food is in your stomach. You don't know if it's empty or full or whatnot. And most of the time it's pretty much full anyway. And so the, the choline or the alpha GPC, the choline from the alpha GPC was kind of hit or miss for training sessions. If I took it early enough, it would probably hit right around the training session. If I took it too close, it would kind of start to hit at the end of the training session and that sort of stuff. So then I started thinking, well, is there a way where I can bypass the digestive system? Can I inject alpha GPC? 
And you probably can. Um, I'm not saying don't do that. I just saying, I'm just saying I don't do that. The calling that I ended up, so I, that that put me on down the path. How can we inject this? Is that an actual thing that you can do? And um, sure enough, you can. You can look up into medical literature and you can find that they administer choline in certain situations, just like they administer L-carnitine in certain situations. So I just started talking to doctors. I, my wife is a, a nurse. And so she has friends that are doctors and whatnot. And so they're like, oh yeah, I can just get you a bottle of it. And then you can kind of look up what the manufacturer has in it. You know, they have it listed. And so I went and found the, the choline, it's choline chloride is what they use in, in, in medicine for injecting choline. And so luckily enough, because of those connections, I'm able to get that, that uh, product, choline chloride. It's a, it's a regulated substance in the United States. You can't just go buy choline chloride. Um, it has some interactions with like, uh, they, they can use it for like feed lot supplementation and other things like that. So I had th think of it almost like a fertilizer uh, that's how it's classified in the U United States. So you can't just go buy it, but I have connections that let me get that. And the moment I told uh, Andrew about that, he goes, you should put that in your product. You should totally combine those. He goes, and he's the one that kind of explained the interactions of, um, think of L-carnitine as modifying energy, okay, uh, at the cellular level. So now you can provide uh, the energy for the actual physical contractions, okay, and and physically moving around and physically thinking, the actual calorie currency. Choline, think of it like, uh, think of it like amplifying the electrical system of the body, okay. So the L-carnitine amplifies the physical system, and the choline amplifies the electrical system. So now with the choline in place you don't have to really pay too much of a price uh, when the, the training session is very taxing neurologically. Like you have to get amped up for every set because every set is, you know, a, a very heavy double or heavy triples, or you're working up to a, a, a close to a max weight. That's very neurologically taxing. It doesn't take a lot out of you physically, but when you get done, you're brain dead. You know, if you've, you've had some training sessions that are very heavy and, and you get done and you're just like, man, I, I really can't very, I can't think very well. I just kind of need to sit here and relax for an hour or two. And then finally the brain fog kind of goes away. And there are some times where I'm sure some people have experienced where they train late in the evening and then they go to bed and then they wake up the next day and they're kind of useless because they're, they're just brain dead. They're like, man, I, I don't know what I did, but I just, I just need to eat some food and relax today because I'm kind of dead. Well, that is your body trying to uh, downregulate um, your nervous system enough to not use up the choline that exists in there. It's trying to replenish that choline system because you're always going to be using choline. So you, mm. you almost can't take enough choline. Um, you can't, you'll never be able to eat enough choline. That used to be me in all these seminars I go to until mm -hmm. I got that product from you. And now this week, and I'm like, I wake up and I'm like, this feels great. This feels weird. <laughs> I'm not oh, good. Anymore. Good. That's good. I'm like what happened? Oh, I did that stuff. <laughs> yep. Like, yeah, that's exactly. Out. Yeah, that's exactly what it's doing. It's paying off the cost of your nervous system. And you know, like we talked about at the beginning, your nervous system is not just your brain, and it's not just the nerves in your hand. It's all of it together. Uh, you can't separate the two. So, if your job or your particular performance, you know, like you said, it's it, you did four days of seminars. Well, that was very mentally taxing. You know, you were really engaged with your group. You were putting out a lot of information. You were thinking through your thought processes. That takes a lot out of it. You know, your brain costs you a lot of energy. 20% of your calorie intake for your whole day is just your brain. So um, choline starts to pay off that cost at the brain level and at the nervous system level. And if you happen to take it before a training session, so, you know, you, you're not your whether you're a calorie deficit or a calorie surplus or, or, or maintenance, it doesn't really matter. If you can bump up your choline stores going into a physical performance, um, what that does is now your brain can function at the highest level as far as voltage that it can send. Okay. And because you can send the highest voltage possible, the, the choline at the neuromuscular junction is there's going to be a surplus there. Now the muscles can contract as hard as you can send the signal, you know, all within your own volition, obviously. Um, 
So it kind of, I like to think of it like it, it kind of starts to unlock the electrical potential that you might have uh, with your brain and the connection of your body. So now all of a sudden, say your max bench press is for uh, 200 kilos, okay? Uh, but it takes a lot out of you, okay? Well, now you can go into a training session and you might bench press that same 200 kilos, but you might literally feel like, you know what? I could probably do that two or three more times before I feel like I'm tapped out for the day. Well, now you've officially increased the, the magnitude of how efficient that one training session is, ju not just from the work you did, but the ability to learn because everything... You, when it comes to learning, you have to do it once. Okay. If you, if you've never done it before, you're going to be shit at it the first time you do it. But if you can do it once and it didn't cost you that much and you can do it again, now you start to learn uh, all the intricacies. Because a new way to, you know, when it comes to performance is a, literally like a different, you, you're trying to make it the same movement, but because it's a different weight, your leverages might go a little bit different or you might get it put out of position. So being able to repeat that level of effort or that level of exercise is very crucial in the performance realm. Mm -hmm. And choline starts to play a huge role in there because it doesn't start to cost you as much to do that. You know, maybe you can, you can only deadlift heavy once every two weeks because it takes so much out of you. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's physical. Okay. And that's more to do with like, are you prepared to actually do that? But a lot of the times it's just nervous system wise. A lot of guys are, you know, they're like, if I deadlift, I'm dead for the next two days. Uh, my, my, my CNS is, is shot is what they but say. To be honest, most of the guys now, they have full-time jobs as well. They just don't just lift. They have full-time exactly. jobs. Family, this and that. So like extra stress on their, on mm -hmm. their body. So I definitely felt massive difference from this weekend compared to all others because previously I would be like two days in. Seminars are usually four, six days, 16 hour mm -hmm. days. Oh, wow. And I would be like two or three days in and I'm dead. Whereas this one, I was like waking up as fresh as there is and I could last all the way through without even thinking about like, oh, I'm getting tired. At the end of the day, I could even stay up for another hour or two and do stuff. <laughs> it's just awesome. like, that's fantastic. Like, yeah, really that's really, really, really good. Yes. And so, that's where that's where the choline started to come in and that's where that's how i found out about the the type of choline that's going to pair the best so my product is the actual l carnitine base that's used uh in medical uh uh administered l carnitine and same thing with the choline it's the actual medical forms of both of those that i'm using um and then as far as the liquid um, I won't disclose it here, but it is not just water. So mine is a pH balanced fluid uh, that also helps with the delivery because if it's pH balanced, it's not going to sting as much. And it's going to assimilate into your blood, basically just, just like it was blood because it's going to be pH balanced to, to your blood or as close as I can get it to it. So it does have some other benefits the way that I make it as far as it's not just those two things. It is also um, a, a different kind of liquid that it's dissolved in. Um, so how long you've uh, been running your, uh, your supplements now? Is it when, when did you start uh, doing these products? Yeah. So I, uh, so it's been a year, it's been one year since I've been uh, manufacturing it and selling it to people. It's been since November. So a little over six months since I made it public. So I'll, I'll, there's a website now, you can go order all of that stuff. Um, and and uh, that website is called darylstrength.com, D-E-R-E-L strength.com. And you can go order it there, I ship worldwide. Um, and it's only been seven months, seven months since, since that's, it's been live, but it's been great. You know, it's been a real organic growth because the people that know or the people that want it and, that's really, uh, you know, automatically I'm, I'm already cutting off a lot of people because you have to inject it. A lot of people are not going to want yeah. to do that, yeah. but you know, the people that know and the people that need these types of benefits are already injecting something. So to them, it's not a big deal. And that's, that's what I've done. So I don't really advertise it, but um, you know, it's just kind of a word of mouth right now. So would you say your calling supplement is not just for someone who lifts stuff, but probably for somebody who's running a really tough business and they could benefit as well from that just by getting their brain firing at 100% pretty much? 
Yes, yes. So I so I'll just kind of put up some labels right now. So this is so this black label here is um, more the um, the top tier product for performance based. So athletes, okay, um, and it has um, a, a four hundred and fifty milligrams of L-carnitine, 180 milligrams of choline. And that's a really good starting point for like mm, lots of energy output and lots of neurological output. It's a pretty good medium. Uh, then I also have what you alluded to, which is the CEO product. The CEO product um, is flipped. So it has a hundred or 400 milligrams of choline and 200 milligrams of L-carnitine. So much higher choline in that. That's gonna be a lot more beneficial. Think of it like, uh, you know, your seminars, they're not, like you're not running around, you're not, you know, um, doing a lot of physicalness, but you're doing a lot of mental tasks and you're really, really into it. And at the same time, you probably notice that you're sweating. Why? And think of it almost like, like a job, okay? It's not really mentally taxing or I'm physically taxing, sorry. It's not really physically taxing, but if you do a jog for four or five hours, you're going to be worn out mentally just because of the repetitiveness of going on. So it's more of like an endurance event. Same thing with seminars. With seminars, you're not really doing a lot, but it's very mentally taxing. And by the end of it, if you don't have any support like this, you start to feel brain dead. You start to feel out of it. And that's because you're running through your 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 substrate so quickly. So I would usually need two or three days to recover afterwards. Yeah. So the CEO product is big time to like start paying off the cost of all that neurological drive that's going on early like before it even gets depleted yeah you take it at the beginning of the day and by the end of the day hopefully you've only used what you've injected and not the surplus that your body already had you go to bed you wake up you feel great and then you kind of repeat that so you can take that to any profession that that is uh high tier you know your 16 hour days a lot of mental work uh you know a lot of math so that's why it's called the ceo product ceo of companies that's exactly how they work they're, you know, up at 4 a.m., they go to bed at midnight, and everything they that revolves around decisions, you know, a lot of decision making. So um, those are the two flagship products um, that I have. And then because there's a lot of milligrams in this, so the total milligrams in the black one is north of 600 and the total milligrams in the CEO product is also 600. So you're talking 600 milligrams of something per each ML. That's a hefty amount. Mm -hmm. So they're a little on the thicker side. Uh, so I may, and, and some people don't want to inject with uh, a normal syringe. They want to only inject with the insulin syringe. So I made a, a thinner version, same ratio, but this one is just the regular strength. 200 L-carnitine, 80 choline. And it just makes it easier, especially for females. They, you know, obviously they're smaller. They don't even need that much more dosages, but it's convenient because they can draw it right into an insulin syringe and use a half a CC of an insulin syringe, which, you know, that kind of an injection is nothing. That's, you know, I, I have bikini competitors that weigh 120 pounds uh, and they're using the regular strength one and they don't complain ever about having to take an injection. And they're like, eh, it's not really that big of a deal, but you know, every single one of them is like, it definitely helps. It helps a yeah. lot. And in fact, I, I think it helps women even more than it does men, especially if they're a physique competitor, because they're already eating poor calories, like yeah. very little calories. Next and you know, they're mothers, you know, half of them are mothers or whatever. So they have a lot of mental stuff going on. They have to keep kids going to school. They have to, uh, you know, cook at night. They have to go to, the, uh, some of them are also working, you know, full time. So they have a lot of mental stuff going on already. So I have found that the choline or the, the KO Ken product has helped women probably more than men as far as like paying off the cost of just living uh, from a mental standpoint. No, this is really good. I think it pretty much covers all the basic questions and whatnot. So yeah. really thank, thanks for that. Uh, where can we find you? Not just your website as such, if anyone has a question. Yeah, yeah. so as far as uh, the, the easiest place to just find me, myself, is going to be on Instagram, David Herrera 1119 and that's, you'll see my Instagram there. And then in my bio, it'll take you to my website uh, where you can just 
book a, an email consultation. I do consultations. Uh, I coach people for all kinds of physique performance. I do all of it, like as far as nutrition, PEDs, and training, uh, or any combination of them. And then uh, at the bottom of the page, you can go to Associated Partners, and that will take you to my sup the supplement website, which is the Daryl Strength website. Yeah. So you can reach all of my places right from Instagram. Um, that's going to be the easiest for most people. Um, and then if you happen to be part of, uh, you know, the Team Evil Genius uh, group, you can always catch me on there. You can email me directly from, from the website that they have. Um, but yeah, that's really the gist of it. And that there, I am working on a fourth pro or a fifth product and that one will be interesting. I, I haven't, I haven't figured out the exact ratios, but it'll be a, a choline carnitine mixture, but we're trying to, we're trying to take it to the next level. So uh, how do we amplify it for learning and how do we amplify it for just real aggressive recovery, like from a brain perspective. And so we're looking into a couple other substances that will pair really well with that. Uh, we're going to try them out and, and make, make it a true neurotropic uh, recovery agent and, and learning agent. So when that comes, that'll be pretty, pretty exciting too. No, that, that sounds amazing. So, no, I really appreciate your time. So if anyone will help, I'll, I'll, I'll chuck some links underneath anyway. Uh, okay. But uh, on that note, I think, Everything's covered, all the basics, and uh, and I'll let you off. So thanks for your time. All right, and awesome. uh, thank you I'll very much. You yes. <laughs>